Greetings and g'day. This is Andy from Motorcycle Mania. And I just did a recent trip with a mate through Victoria, actually through South Australia, New South Wales and Victoria, and had an absolute ball. I wanted to tell you about this really cool little area of roads that I found. And basically, it's this area here. Um, all around in here, from there, down that triangle, down that triangle, up to that dam there. In fact, all of these roads all around here are pretty damn good. Now, I guess as this area, it's a pretty big area and there's some fantastic riding. So you could be basing yourself um, at Bansdale. Bansdale's a really nice, pretty town. Um, there's plenty of accommodation, pubs, hotels, motels, big RSL there. Had a feed at the RSL, was okay. Um, really good spot. Sale, once again, a big place. Uh, plenty of opportunities. Taralgon, Mo, both of those, there's plenty of opportunities to stay. You could base yourself around this area. And bear in mind, anywhere in this peninsula, right around here, is great riding. But right at the moment, I want to focus on this little triangle here. So let me, I'll uh, zoom that up. Here we go. Zooming it up, I'll bring it into the center of the screen. So the day I came, or the, day, the trip I had, we basically came from Bansdale, which is over down this road. We cut out across here through to Mafra, down these back roads, through Highfield, uh, Kalwa, Toon Gabby, into Glengarry, and then over here. Now, this is really interesting because in this valley in through here is where all the power stations, or a lot of power stations for Victoria are. So you can get up on some lookouts, and I'll post you a, a, a picture of a sign at a lookout, and you can basically look out over that whole region. Um, I'll just bring that up a bit bigger, and you'll see a whole range of power stations in around this area. Um, it's, yeah, pretty amazing actually. But anyway, right up about here is a, um, well, it's along this road here, is a, a lookout and a sign. With the sign I'll show you in the, in the photo um, and pop that up about now. Um, and then from there, what you do is head up to this road. And you head up through here, um, up to these towns through here. I didn't do that little leg up there to Walhalla. Didn't do that one, but I did come up to these towns here. And a town up there is Rawson. I thought it was Forest, tell the truth. Um, but uh, you'll find we stopped at a, at a little place there, got a coffee and a pie, and there's these really cool birds out in the uh, in the tree out the front. So there's a picture of one of the birds out the front. Now, what was really cool about this road, bear in mind that's really nice condition road, sensational scenery, absolute must do. And then you come up through here and you head out towards the Thompson Dam. Now this is pretty sensational. This road out through here is absolutely, I was going to say bloody then, so it is just really nice. And then when you get here, I'll bring this up, let's bring it up nice and big. Um, you'll start to see, have I gone too big here? No, we're going to fit it in. Okay, at the end of this road, you come through and then you head down here towards the Thompson Dam. And you can actually ride right down through here, but more importantly, you can ride right across the top of the dam. Now this is supposedly, I think it's one of the biggest earth wall dams in the southern hemisphere, and it is, it's just made up of rock, uh, rock and earth, they've built up this huge dam. And really interesting to get up here and have a at the lookout, and right at that point there, I'll, I'll start to load some photos up here, um, of the dam, the rock wall, um, the dam and all the rest of it, and this is one of the big feeders for Melbourne's water supply. Um, it's bitumen across over to there. From there it turns to dirt. We didn't go any further this trip. Um, I'll just bring it out a bit. Um, and But you can see the dirt roads go right on and right on. But this particular... Whoops-a-daisy. Whoops-a-daisy, sorry. I'll bring that back out. This particular road um, coming through here, really worth doing, worth a look. Come down there and once again you go back out the same way you came. Melbourne's water collection is actually from the other end. There's a really interesting plaque um, up around there giving a design and stuff and story of the, of the dam and the dam wall. Like I say, well worth a look. So let me come back out. Um, we might make that a little bit smaller, sorry a little bit bigger, whichever way you want to look at it. And you come back out down through here and then come down the loop this way through beautiful state parks as you can see sensational road down to Mo and Willow Grove Road uh, down into Mo once again fairly big sized town and uh, petrol stations in through there and we we basically went off um, I might as well talk about it now um, we went off up through this road up to here and once a beautiful road these it's just 
this is heaven and stuff for motorcycling, up through here to uh, what's called Icy Creek. We chucked a ride here. We thought we'll go up to Mount Borbor. Now, this road up through here to Mount Borbor, look, I reckon you should give it a go once. I wouldn't bother going back. I, it's, it's a good road on the GS. It was really good. The surface is, uh, is rough at times. The corners are extremely tight. Um, you wouldn't want to do it when there's a lot of traffic on the road and uh, it's quite easy to miss a corner. In fact, I missed a corner. Um, a friend I was with missed a corner. When we got down the road at Nudgee and had a coffee, uh, we were talking to another lady and she said her husband was up there recently and him and his friend both missed the same corner. It's right up near the top, up around here, and there's a big runoff, so it looks like we're not the only ones that did it. But let me just blow this up a little bit more. You can start to see how windy that road is. And let me tell you, it's way windier than that. So it's worth popping up for a look. It's about 30 odd k's. You head up there, really nice view out this way, um, and it's it's a snow resort. So that's how high it gets. It's a it's a snow and ski resort for Victoria. So um, it's quite high. But yeah, this country through here, it's, it is beautiful forest. I must say that it's beautiful forest. I wouldn't call it ideal motorcycling road. It's worth going along to have a poke your nose around, have a look, but you need your wits about you. It's all bitumen, but uh, yeah, look, it's not nice big rolling sweepers. It's quite tight and windy. So that's that area up to Mount Borbor, in through here. Make sure you do this triangle uh, around here. It's called the Wal Walhalla State Park um, and Rivers. Uh, ride or, or drive and head up through there. Definitely go up to the Thompson Dam thing, but a fantastic area. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment at the bottom of this uh, of this video. But I reckon it's a one of uh, Victoria's great little motorcycling areas. Uh, let me know. Have a good one. I'll catch you on the road.